If you're not going to buy a Pixel 2, but are still slightly feeling the sting of jealousy at how clean the software looks on the new devices sold by Google themselves, here's a quick video on how to get all of that stock, lovely Google software, at least the look and feel, onto any Android phone, including those new live wallpapers, which I personally am in love with. Now, before we get started, we are going to be downloading apps that are not necessarily in the Play Store, and by default, our phone blocks those. So to allow them, we're going to head to settings. And if you can search for allow unknown sources, otherwise just search through your settings for this. It'll be somewhere for sure. It just might be called another name, uh, but a lot of times it's maybe under security, someplace like that. Once you find it though, turn it on and we can continue. First up, let's change the launcher. The launcher, if you aren't familiar, is an app basically that is just summoned whenever you hit the home button on your phone and then allows you to launch other apps from it. Whether you are aware or not, you are using a launcher right now most likely a customized version from your manufacturer, or if you're privy to them, third-party ones from the Play Store. This is probably the single biggest change you can make to the look and feel of your Android phone, so let's start there. To get the Pixel 2 home screen look, you could go with the actual Google Now launcher from the Pixel by downloading as an APK, but since that isn't gonna work on all phones and the Play Store version isn't updated for the new Pixel 2 look, I found a simpler, more widely compatible option. Head to the Play Store, and download Nova Launcher. Don't worry, it's free. Once downloaded, we're going to actually join their beta program in order to get some of the new features that they've ported over from the Pixel 2 as customizable options. To do that, we're gonna tap Home and select the Nova Launcher, or tap Always and select the Nova Launcher depending on the phone you have, and then it'll launch Nova from now on when tapping the Home button. Don't worry, you can easily undo this by installing it, by the way. And then we're gonna tap and hold in the background and tap the settings icon. From there, scroll to the very bottom and you'll see the Google Plus icon. Tap that and make sure you're logged into the same account that you use for Google on your device and accept the beta. If you don't have a Google Plus account, by the way, it'll make you create one really quickly. You can then go back to the Nova settings and tap on check for updates and tap that. Then tap the three dots at the top right and select beta from there. Now you could wait for the beta to show up automatically at this point as an update, or you can tap the link there and then tap the beta download link on Nova's page to get it faster. Once downloaded, tap on the download in the notification shade and tap install. We can then start customizing it to get the Pixel 2 look by going back into settings, tapping on app and widget drawers and turning on swipe to open, then going to dock and tapping search bar in dock and selecting under the dock. Then go to desktop in settings and tap on search bar style and select the rounded one and the color G logo to match the Pixel 2s. Also, we can go into look and feel and turn on adaptive icons and tap on adaptive icon style and set them to rounded and also tap the toggle to reshape legacy icons so that they all match. After that, we can go to the home screen and remove the app drawer icon since the Pixel 2 doesn't have that and the search bar widget that's at the top and we're pretty good to go. Next, let's get the new calendar widget from the Pixel launcher onto the Nova beta one. Simply head to the Play Store and search for and install another widget, it's called. Once installed, head to the home page, tap and hold on the background, tap widgets and select the new another widget calendar widget and place it onto the home screen. It'll then bring you to a setup page. In there, leave the default options, but go to the bottom and tap the calendar option to give it access to your events, and then the weather option to give it access to that as well. Then we can tap add widget and see how it looks. Not bad, right? One of my favorite, although more subtle updates to the Pixel's look is the new Living Universe wallpapers. To get those, we're gonna head to the Play Store and download the Google Wallpapers app. Now these won't be available inside of it by default, but we need it installed to actually get them. So next, we're gonna head to this link here uh, beneath this video. It'll take you to my site where you can then go to XDA from the link there. Make sure you do this in the phone's browser, by the way, and then download the APK file listed in the first post. Again, on the phone to save the hassle of having to get it to your phone from your computer in a separate step. Once downloaded, you can tap it and tap install. After that, head to the Google Wallpapers app, and now you'll see a section for live wallpapers. Tap that, and you'll see the new Pixel ones in there. Tap whichever one you want, tap set, and then set it as either your home screen, lock screen, or both. Now lastly, if you wanna really complete the look, let's swap out the icons. 
You can search for the Pixel 2 icons in the Play Store and there are a bunch of them. Some are paid, most are paid, and some are free. The free one that I use though that works pretty well is called Launcher Theme for Google Pixel 2. Once you download an icon pack, you can set them by tapping and holding on the background of the home screen and then tapping settings to get back into Nova settings. Then head to look and feel, tap icon theme, and select the new icon pack in there and it'll swap out all of the icons for the Pixel ones. There you go guys, any of this can be easily undone just by uninstalling those apps from your settings applications. Uh, so worth trying it if you're interested. Uh, but I hope you did like that. If you did, please thumbs up, share it, subscribe, all that fun stuff if you enjoyed this. Uh, and as always, regardless, thanks for watching.